Hi, this is Leanne from Global Media Networks with a business roundup for the day. Taking a look at how the market performed last week, we see that the market started the week on a lackluster move with the NPI showing a marginal gain. However, on Tuesday, the trend reversed, putting, putting all the indices on a double digit growth with the interest of foreign investors, especially on Jenkins holdings. Now, the positive sentiment of the counter improved further as the foreign buying continued, which brought the market turned over to part of the market on Wednesday. Thursday, the, bull, the bulls uh, took a rest, where indices came down slightly while local investors joined, joined towards the end to further improve the indices. Uh, Twelve crossings were, uh, were recorded during the week, and a diversified sector contributed mostly to its market's turnover, while telecommunications sector were the best sector gain, uh, best sector index gain. Now, oil palm sector index declined becoming the top sector loser. Now, foreign investors triggered the market momentum during the week, while, uh, while uh, local buying crept in towards the end. Now, political background of the bulls was heated up with the resignation announcement of the Security and Exchange Commission president. Interest rates and exchange rates remained almost stable, while global markets also saw a speed recovery. Looking at the business news for today, we see that Sri Lankan government is to set up eight domestic airports in the country at a cost of 750 million rupees. Now, Civil Aviation Minister Priyanka Jayaratna has said that the eight domestic airports will be set up in Kogala, Kandy, Morelia, CBD, Vatico, Trikamania, Pala, and Palavia. He also said that out of the 750 million rupees, some money would be used to develop the government. Sri Lanka Air Force will handle the construction work of the airports while your development authority is to build the runways. Each two kilometers in length in the airports. We also see that uh, Sri Lanka Minister of Economic and Development Basin Raja Paksha and Fisheries and Aquatic Resources Development Minister Dr. Rajat Sinaratna will declare open the, la the third largest can fish factory tomorrow in Kalyagoda in the outskirts of Colombo. Uh, the factory test method has been established under the test pool of companies with an investment of 117 million rupees. The canal fish factory has a capacity to produce 48,000 cans of fish per day. Now, this is a third and the largest of the planned can fish factories, and the other two, which have the capacity of producing 10,000 cans each per day, are now operating in Gold and Pippin with the assistance of the Ministry of Fisheries. It is said that on an average, uh, Sri Lankans consume around 50,000 fish cans per day, and the government spends over 4 billion rupees annually for canned fish imports. Now, the government expects to produce 40,000 fish cans per day by the full factory commissioning and curtail the imports at least by 30%. Looking at some corporate results, we have financial results of the MD Nations, represented for the six month ending that is June 2012, recorded consolidated revenue amount of 5,812 million rupees. Now, this was a decline compared to the curves coming period in the previous year. The drop in revenue was driven by reduced sales volumes for investment linked like products and a contained a continued focus on changing pricing of general insurance. Now gross within premium income of the composite business was of four thousand three hundred and ninety nine million rupees for the first half of the year. For the first time, the half year financial statements of the company and the group were prepared on Sri Lanka's financial standards contract basis. Now Aviva NDB is the first insurer to do so. Uh, the chairman of Aviva NDB says that they are confident that improvements in underwriting and claims management will continue to deliver satisfactory performance over the remainder of the year. Uh, looking uh, at the last news item we have, the Sri Lankan economy will reach a GDP value of 100 billion US dollars up sharply from the slow pace economy of about 24 billion US dollars GDP in 2004, said the government of Central Bank, Now, speaking at the 24th Annual Convention of the Association of Professional Bankers, he said that Sri Lanka has been able to achieve its best ever period of the 
flow and the principle of the set of natural property values will compare to its cost. The country has followed the same Sri Lanka's GDP being distributed better than the GDP distribution of more than 2005. Now, when Sri Lanka reaches the 100 billion US dollar milestone and the per capita income rises above 4,000 US dollars, Sri Lanka would find that the structure and strength of the economy would change materially. With that, I round up the news for today. Thank you very much for listening.